great basketball game. I uh, loved being a part of it. Uh, knew watching film of Wyoming and, and getting ready for this game that uh, they had a bunch of tough guys. And uh, uh, I had, uh, you know, not concerns that I shared with, with our guys. I think we got a bunch of tough guys too. So um, one of those things that, you know, in, in my mind, just trying to go through the list of, of how we get this done. But uh, um, so in watching them, I knew really good players, really tough guys. They found ways to get through their conference tournament because they're tough and they make big shots. And they showed that in the second half. And um, just a terrific team. And, uh, and so proud of our guys for uh, sticking to what we do, and getting, uh, getting the job done. Had a lot of guys step forward. Uh, yeah, fun game. So we'll open up to questions again. Please identify yourself and your affiliation and to whom the question is addressed. Thank you. Right here? OK. Uh, Seth, this is Andrew Logue with the Des Moines Register. We wanted to ask you, in this day and age, a lot of people talk about with TV timeouts and, and stoppages of play that depth isn't as important maybe because there's more breaks in the game. But today, it looked like your guys, uh, your teammates, everybody was fresh, and it, it looked like depth paid off. How, how important is it to have that many guys off the bench? Yeah, it's really important. Um, you know, we go, uh, we go 10 deep sometimes, and, you know, it, um, I can tell you how it feels sometimes when you get out there for a while. Your legs start uh, reminding you how important it is to, um, to have a deep bench. And, and uh, the important thing is that we have uh, we got 10 guys that are capable of, of, of really helping our team every time they step on the floor. And um, as, as the... As the game showed today, um, you know, it, uh, we had a lot of guys step up for us. Robert Gagliardi, Wyoming Tribune Eagle coach. Uh, you know, Nance had a big on that run in the second half. He uh, kind of sparked it, but you did a good job on him throughout, and even Josh Adams for most of the game. What what were you able to do aside from that run to, to slow them down? Well, we were gonna uh, we were gonna get out and, and show hard on the ball screen with with Adams and, and with the rest of their guards, uh, but wanted to make sure that we forced him really high on the floor, or we forced him to pick it up and, and give the ball up. Uh, and then with Nance, when, when he caught it, we were gonna go and double him and uh, see if we couldn't get it out of his hands. Just try to limit their their touches. And I thought the uh, I thought the guys did a good job of that. Um, you know, obviously in the second half, and, and as I mentioned, uh, and coming in, we knew those two guys are really good. And uh, so there was there was uh, probably going to be a time in the game that uh, that one or both of them got going. Uh, and they ran some, you know, they ran a couple of actions that I don't think they run for Nance a lot uh, because he was going so well. So we hadn't really worked against those. And, um, and he made some big plays. He got them back in the game. Carson Tiggis, Waterloo Courier. Uh, with Nance, when we saw what he could do, he kind of took over there for a couple minutes in the second half. Does it make it a little bit more impressive with how you defended him in the first half? Yeah, I think so. Um, and I thought, you know, I thought Marv did a great job on it. You know, Marv was uh, was physical with him and, and got underneath him a little bit, made it hard for him to catch it. Um, when he did, you know, we were there uh, in time to double him. And you know, in the second half, um, you know, he ran the baseline and made a couple threes on a couple of actions, again, that we hadn't gone through because we just hadn't seen him much, uh, if at all. Uh, but then we also, you know, we let him get a tip in. Uh, we let him do a couple things that, um, that we needed to take care of in that run that he had. So he, he, he just he had a, a lot of energy in that stretch. And, uh, and he, got, he got his team back in the game, like I said. Uh, Rick Brown, DeWine Register. Jake, uh, still a single-digit lead. Uh, they'd made a run. You fought him off. They came again. And then Wes had a little flurry where he made the floor in the lane. Then he drew Nance's fourth foul, made two free throws, and got a tie ball all in a possession went your way. Just talk about that stretch and how good Wes is playing and how valuable it was. Yeah, I mean, he, you know, Wes and Paul are here, and they got a, you know, a couple other guys on that bench uh, with, with Wyatt and with Nate and uh, with Ben from time to time. But, you know, the four of them have been double-figure minute guys for us. And, um, they, they, you know, there's, there's no way I can, I can describe to you how proud I am of those guys. Um, you know, the, the guys that are coming off our bench, Rick, that was it's, uh, in a lot of ways been one of or maybe the key to our season because he, these two guys are really, really good players. And Nate is a really good player. You know, Wyatt's young, so he's kind of coming. Uh, but the, the other three are they're terrific players. And, uh, you know, they've, they've done everything for our team to be able to have success. And tonight it was, you know, the two of them that got a bunch done for us. And we needed, uh, you know, we needed some of that stuff to shoot it over the top of them because of the way they defend, the stretch you're talking about. And, and Wes has got the ability to, to make those shots and make those plays. And you know, what, I like, what I like best is at no time during the year did, did, uh, did we not get great effort from everybody on our team, no matter situation. And tonight is the reason why, or this morning, 
It's the reason why you do that stuff. It's the reason you sacrifice. And these guys were, man, these guys were big today. Uh, Paul, wanted to, Andrew with the register again. They had cut it to seven, and uh, your three-pointer, I believe, kind of stemmed the tide a little bit. Uh, I've seen you hit that shot before, but was it a call play, or take me through that sequence? Um, yeah, I think it was uh, pretty calm. Um, we had came out of a timeout at one point when it was close, and we just said to each other, listen, it's close. Um, we're going to remain calm. This, let's just do what we've done all year, and let's get stops, make open shots, um, play through Seth. Uh, I thought we did a great job of that late. That's why we were able to come out of here at the win. Over here, uh, Michael Oss, Cedar Rapids Gazette. Uh, ben, I'm told that your players were pretty loose, relaxed on the way over here, and that you, you know it wasn't didn't seem like NCAA tournament jitters had affected anybody. Is that accurate, and why? Uh, yes, accurate. Uh, I felt this morning when I got down to breakfast, we uh, we got them up 7:30 and and had uh, had our team meal and and I walked in and a couple of them were talking and laughing and and uh, and I felt at that time Mike that we were going to play really well today. Uh, it's one of the things that that we've talked about the the past two weeks. Um, it's the personality of this team and uh, they've taken ownership of being who they are, um, and being relaxed, uh, being loose is a big part of who they are. And they've combined that with being really tough and really competitive. And uh, so, yeah, on the bus on the way over at breakfast this morning, you know, when I heard them talking and laughing and, and giving each other a hard time at breakfast, Mike, I knew we were going to play well today. I didn't know if we'd win or not, but I knew we were going to play well. Um, and I, you know, I love that part of it, that these guys are on the biggest stage in, uh, in college basketball for sure, but I think the greatest sporting event of the calendar year, the biggest stage. And they're loose and, and playing. Carson Tiggis, Water of the career. Wes, uh, you're down 18 to Illinois State, came back and won. Uh, how much does that help you to just kind of stay relaxed when Wyoming made their run there, got back within seven, you guys were able to stem that and, and get back at it? How much does it help to uh, have that experience behind it? You can keep doing what you're doing. Uh, yeah, I think it helps a lot uh, being able to weather a storm like that and come back and stay calm and relax and just execute our stuff. It was very similar here when they made their run. We just stayed calm and executed our stuff and were able to come through. Good. Okay, thank you very much.